If you drive here, you can find the toll gate first. Then 300 meters away from it, you can find uh, this parking lot. It has spacious uh, parking spaces. You can park here and then you can go to uh, Dongha Temple walking by walking. While you are walking, uh, you can hear a lot of bird sound and then you can hear the sound of the siseida. It's called chammemi, uh, robust siseida in English. It likes low temperature, so you can hear their sound uh, on the mountain. And it is really relaxing. You can enjoy it while you are walking. Hi guys! We are going to have a tour to Dongasa today. Uh, this is the traditional starting point. If you like to walk, you can stop your car here and you can walk along the way to Dongasa. But if you don't have enough time or you don't like uh, walking, you can use the rail gate of Dongasa. It is just um, 100 meters from Dongasa main temple. Okay, uh, let's start from here. This is Ichumun, uh, which is the starting point. If you visit a temple, you can see this kind of structure. This is called Ichumun Gate. Even though it doesn't have any gates, it is still called as gate because yeah, it is considered as a border between common word and the word of enlightenment. Right next to the Ijumun Gate, you can see the uh, rock carved Buddha statue. It is called Mae Yare Jasang. Uh, it is a seated rock carved Buddha. It is late Shilla style. And it is making hand sign with his hand. It means defeating all the evil spirits. And then he finally attain enlightenment. Even though it is very hot summer, uh, walking through the path is not that hot because the, uh, since the temple is located in the middle of the mountain, it feels cool. And maybe I guess five, temp uh, five degrees lower than the city. And if you go this side, you can join uh, the temple stay and then you can experience the food of temple yeah, it will be nice and you can enjoy the vegan food in the temple okay let's go keep going yeah. 
the stairway is very long and the stair itself is very steep so you should be careful and if the stair is wet you should be more careful because it would be slippery and yeah these leaves can make the stairs more slipper, slippery and you can find many acorns on the floor it is very cute but it is not ripen so you can eat it This is Medicine Buddha statue. It is made of stone and 33 meters high. It is the highest uh, Buddha statue as a stone Buddha statue. And he is Medicine Buddha, so he's supposed to save all the people from disease. People made this Buddha statue hoping world peace and happiness of all the people and reunification. This is Gumgangedan stairs. Even though it has its own building, it is called as stairs because inside the building there's no Buddha statues. Instead of Buddha statue, you can pray here. Uh, looking towards Popha Bogum, which enshrines the crystals of Buddha. In Popha Bogum, the crystals of Buddha is from Myanmar. This is the actual gate of Dongha Temple. Uh, when you pass this gate, you can see all the uh, buildings of temples, and it is called Ongho Mun. It is usually called Sachonang Mun in other temples because it has uh, Sachonang, which is heavenly guardians of Buddhism, are inside it. Okay, let's go inside and check it out. There are 28 celestial worlds in the Buddhist view of the world. And these four statues are Sachanang, which are heavenly guardians of Buddhism. They are looking down with scary face and goggly eyes. They are believed to cast away evil spirits. 보통 사천에 들어가시면은 사천왕문을 통과를 하셔야 돼요. 근데 저희 동화사는 
옹호문이라고 되어 있어요. 이게 왜 그러냐 하면 여기가 예전에 승군이 있었다. 승려들이 외적을 물리칠 때 군인이 있었다 하는 방이어서 옹호를 한다고 해서 옹호문이라고 해요. 보통은 사천왕문이라고 하죠. 사천왕이라는 것은 그 수미산 정상이 이렇게 있는데 그 중간 사이에 사, 그 천왕이 있어요. 천왕이 누구예요? 부처님이에요. 부처님 집으로 이제 들어가고 여기는 안 들어가고 했으니까 이제 부처님 집으로 들어와 오셨으니까 그 사천왕이라고 하는 인도의 신화에 나오는 네 명의 방위신이라고 하는 동서, 남북, 중앙 이렇게 하는 다섯 명의 신이 있는 거예요. 그래서 여기서 동쪽에 있는 신은 어 동방 여기 보면은 지국천왕이라고 써여가 있죠. 네. 이분은 그 음악을 비파를 가지고 어저 중생들을 교화하고 행복하게 해주는 분이고요. 또 여기 남쪽에 있는 사람은 증장이라고 해서 어 번뇌를 다 끊어준대요. 우리가 고민하고 있는 것을 <웃음> 다 네, 증장 지국천왕이라고 해서 어 사람들이 가진 번뇌를 끊어주는 그런 음, 천왕이라고 보시면 되고요. 네, 칼을 탁 끄는 거죠. 그럼 이쪽에 또 이제 서방으로 가면 광목 천왕은 눈을 크게 뜨고 중생을 여러 명 살펴주는 거예요. 그래서 저 위에 여의주를 가지고 말을 잘 들으면은 여의주는 뭐예요? 어, 어, 이 소원을 이루어주게 해주는 게 여의주. 우리가 여의봉을 가진 거하고 똑같아요. 그래서 여기 이제 서쪽에 계시는 분은 증 음, 광목 천왕 눈이 아주 크죠 눈목자를 써서 예, 지켜보고 소원을 빌어주는 거예요. 그럼 여기 또 북쪽을 한번 보세요. 북방에는 다문 천왕이라고 하죠. 근데 북방에 우리 보통 신도들이 오시면 북쪽을 많이 그거 기도를 많이 해요. 왜냐 부자 되게 해준대요. 여기 저번 황금 탑을 가지고 계셔서 부자 되게 해주고 많이 듣고 여러분한테 많이 설교를 해서 또 여러분들 행복하게 살수 있도록 해주는 부처님이 여기 북쪽에 계시는 북방 다문천왕이라고 보시면 되고요. 근데 우리 보통 이렇게 올라오시면 다 도로 돌을 가지고 이렇게 다 흙이 못 들어오게 했죠. 근데 이 바닥을 보세요. 바닥은 여기는 아무것도 없어 흙이야. 이게 왜냐 하면은 중앙을 나타나는 거예요. 중앙은 동서 남북 중앙 중에서 중앙은 황색이에요. 황금색. 이 황금색이죠. 그래서 여기서 복을 많이 받을 수 있는 그런 곳이라고 보시면 되고요. 보통 사찰에 가셔서 사천 왕문을 지나실 때 이렇게 잘 보시면 요 밑에 밟고 있는 사람들이 있어. 요걸 생명자라고 하는데요. 임진왜란 이전에는 전부 다 이렇게 뭐 어, 나쁜 뭐 이렇게 음, 음, 아주 뭐 이렇게 보면 동물이나 원숭이나 이런 나쁜 일을 하는 나쁜 것을 하는 그런 걸 많이 했었는데 임진왜란 이후에는 우리가 많이 적들한테 방해를 받았잖아. 그래서 그 외군을 만들어 놓고 아니면은 아주 탐관 오리 못된 사람을 사람으로 많이 만들어 놓는데 이걸 생명자라고 해요. 그래서 이렇게 올라오실 때 보시면 은 많은 것을 여기 사천왕문에서 또 의미하는 바가 참 크다고 봅니다. This is Bungsoru Pavilion, which is a lounge for the monks. Uh, they can take a rest here. And the uh, character Bong means a phoenix. A phoenix is believed living in a only polonium forest and eating only bamboo fruits. Actually, Dongwasa Temple is surrounded by Polonia Forest, so because of that, people might have easily said a story about a phoenix. 
These are the eggs of phoenix and it is believed if you make a wish rubbing these eggs, it will come true. ドアサエ는그네가지종류의기물이있는데오늘우리요걸특별하게한번보시도록할게요요보면종북초고기처럼생겼는두뭐라고할까요모거또구름이싹지나가죠구름이있어요근데이제아침에새벽에스님들께서
Can you see this? This is called Bere Sok. Uh, when a king visits a temple, he would have shown his respect bowing here. This is Gwebulte to hold wooden pole. When they have a big event in the temple, they set a big, huge Buddha picture on the wooden pole and then they put that wooden pole in it and this is for holding the poles and then you can see Yeonhwade this is lightning facility when it gets dark they set a fire on it to brighten up and this is lotus and Yeonhwa means lotus. In the Buddhism, uh, lotus means clean it, cleanness, purity, and sacred, sacredness. So it represents the concept of Buddhism. Okay, let's go to the main hall, main, main building, Daeungjeon. We should use the uh, right side stairs this is the main building of the temple called Daeungjeon there are three Buddha statues in here okay. in Daeungjeon there are three Buddha statues the one in the center is Buddha of present, Sokkamoni. The sign he is making with his hands represents he attains enlightenment after defeating all the evil spirits. The right side of Sokkamoni, there is a future Buddha, Amitabha. The left side of Sokkamoni, there is a statue of Medicine Buddha. He holds a medicine bowl. He is promised to cure people from diseases. If you go around the building Daeungjeon, you can find murals on the wall called Shimudo. It can be translated as 10 oxard in pictures. This is a metaphor in the process of attaining enlightenment. You can see a boy, this is a human being, and he's going to find himself, his nature. He keeps trying to find the ox, and he finds it finally, and then chases it, and try to tame it. And then, and the boy is coming home riding the ox. And then when he gets home, the ox disappeared. And he finally left alone because the ox is the way to attain enlightenment. So after attaining enlightenment, you should forget about the, uh, the method to get enlightenment. And then you should forget about yourself. It truly means attain, attaining enlightenment. So you became nothing like this. It contains profound Buddhism philosophy and it is not easy to understand, but it is worthwhile to think about it. On the left upper side of 
Daeungjeon building, there is Sanshingak building. Sanshin means mountain spirit, and it is um, the concept of local religion. This building shows us the Buddhism contains local religions. Right next to Sanshingak building, there is Chosajuan building here. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, during Japanese invasion of Korea, the monks fought against Japanese soldiers, and it enshrines the leader of monk soldiers called Samyongdesa, and there are lots of other famous monks uh, enshrined here and they have portraits in it. Hi guys, we are going to take a trip to Apsan Cafe Street and Apsan Observatory and then we are going to go to Samun Night Market. And first of all, we are going to go to Apsan Cafe Street. If you drive here, I'd recommend you to park here, public parking space, uh, which has large space to park. And if you come here by subway, uh, it is a kilometer from the subway uh, station, so you can walk. And if you take a walk, you are, you are going to find some interesting features on the wall. Look at this. This is the character of Bong Joon-ho, who is winning uh, Oscar Prize. He direct. He is a director of a movie, uh, Parasite. It is very interesting features on here on the wall. Yeah. He was born in Daegu, especially here in Nangu district. So they decorated Bong uh, Juno to memorize. Apsan Cafe Street. Yeah, this is the sign of starting Apsan yeah, Cafe Gari. Uh, there are lots of local cafes here in Daegu, especially in Apsan Cafe Street. There are lots of lots of uh, unique coffee shops here, so you can visit here with your family and friends and any beloved ones to enjoy its unique vibe here. Let's go with me. Yeah, this is all the street of Apsan Cafe. Yeah, you can see the franchise cafe also.
This is one of the most uh, famous local cafe in Daegu, which is Afsan Coffee House. Uh, you can see the spacious parking lot here. You can park first floor and from second floor to third floor. It is coffee shops. So uh, you can order your coffee from second floor and you can find seats on second and third floors. You can take any seats you like. And if you order your coffee, you can smell nice aroma from drip coffee. And you can see um, the baristas are dripping coffee. And it is nice to see. And you can also enjoy some desserts such as cakes and scones, or if you like, you can enjoy breads also. If you like drip coffee, you must visit here. I strongly recommend you to visit here. This is Cafe Crafter, which is right next to uh, the public parking lot. Uh, you should check your right side to find it because it is kind of hidden. Otherwise, you will miss it. It has really nice cakes here. So if you like cakes, you must be here. Take a look. Cafe Anouk. Uh, it is a bit uh, far from Cafe Street, but it is worth the visit. Uh, and it has its own parking lot there, so you can park there. And then you can use this main entrance. And then you can order here, first floor. And you can enjoy your coffee inside first floor or downstairs, or upstairs, or rooftop. Yeah, you can enjoy every places. Okay, let's go inside the cafe. Okay, you can order here, and if you want to some bread, There's various kinds of bread here. And also yummy cakes here. Here. If you like to enjoy um, some drip coffee, maybe you can order this. The aroma of co coffee is really, really nice. 
이거 무슨 커피인지 물어봐주세요. 무린 커피인지 에티오피아라고 무린 커피인데요. 무슨 커피요? 무린 커피요. 드립 커피. 아 드립 커피. Yeah, this is drip coffee and single origin from Ethiopia. Yeah. It smells very nice. If you visit Cafe Anu, you can find many hidden places like this. Uh, actually, I don't recommend you visit here in summertime, but it would be nice if you visit here uh, at night or in the fall or maybe spring. Uh, it can be okay if you visit here in winter season. It is very nice to visit. Yeah. Uh, you can look down the parking lot and also a bit of uh, traditional buildings. And inside of the cafe, It is very nice to look outside. You can see the uh, traditional roof tiles and also pine tree. It is so nice to look. Now I ordered coffee and bread uh, and I took a seat on the second floor. I think I took a very nice spot because outside I can see the Korean traditional roof tile and it was raining, not now, yeah, but it was cool and nice. Uh, and you know, the weather of summer in Daegu, it is really hot and melting hot. Today is also very hot, so I ordered iced cafe latte. Let me taste. It is very delicious and aromatic. It's cool. Hey guys, this is outside of the Cafe Anu and this is second floor and there are many seats outside also but I don't want to sit sitting here in summer and this is the way to go up to the rooftop and there's a sign No Kishon yeah, it looks de definitely dangerous. So, and behind the uh, stair, there is a ladies' room there. Okay, let's go upside the rooftop. Let's go. It's really cool, even though it's very hot uh, summer. It's really nice weather, even though it is hot summer, especially here in Daegu, but I can feel fresh breeze from here and I can see all the city view from here. And look at there, there's Palsam Tower in uh, Eward which is very famous amusement park in Daegu. And I think I can see my house there over there. Can you zoom in, please? Uh, I think I can see my dog waving for me. If you come here at nighttime, you can see all the bright lights from here. 
it was, uh, it will be amazing. Yeah, you should come here at night time. And I think uh, it's more cooler than now. So you can enjoy the atmosphere and the weather and nice coffee all together. I'm here in Apsan Sunset Observatory. Uh, you can enjoy the sunset from here. But today it's cloudy, so it is behind the cloud, so we can't uh, see the sky. But still, it's really nice because it's a little bit humid, but uh, I can feel nice breeze and breathtaking uh, scenery from here. So it is still nice. You can look whole view of the city from here. After sunset, you can enjoy the light uh, from the city. I think there are like um, stars from the city. This observatory is not that steep, so you can visit here with your kids and senior citizens also. And you can see the quite complicated structure of the stairs here. It symbolizes the weaving clothes because of uh, this place used to be the public uh, washing place so in the entrance of this observatory you can still see the trace of the washing place Namgo 10m로 되어 있습니다. 그래서 사람이 공포를 체험할 수 있는 높이라고 할수 있습니다. 그리고 저희 해넘이 전망대는 빨래를 짜는 형상으로 만들어져 있습니다. 여기 있는 곳은 고랑골에서 흘러내리는 물을 해서 옛날에 안양렌들이 빨래를 했던 곳으로 해서 빨래터라고 알고 있습니다. 빨래터 공원에 있는 모습을 보고 저희가 해넘이 전망대를 만들었다고 할수 있습니다. 그리고 차후에 저희 남구 청장님께서 어, 주도하에 있어서 이 해넘이 전망대로 인하여 오작교 다리와 함께 오시는 분들이 편안하게 오실 수 있도록 주차장과 공원을 지금 하고 공사 중에 있습니다. 2022년에 완공될 예정으로 되어 있고요. 야심작으로 앞산을 건널 수 있는 오작교와 함께 캠핑장을 만들어서 대구 시민과 그리고 타 지역에 있는 분들도 방문하셔서 해놈이 전망대 그리고 별자리 터널 그리고 안지랑 막창을 골목길과 함께 하나의 관광 테마가 될수 있도록 하고 있습니다. 네, 앞산 이곳의 해넘이 전망대를 많은 분들이 찾아주셨으면 감사하겠습니다. 앞산 산셋 업저버터리 앞에 있는 곳입니다. 
I found a place which used to be a public washing place. These days, every household has its own laundry machine, but long time ago, there were public washing places such, like, such as this. It maintains its original shapes very well, and now it turned into a park. So it is called Apsan Paletto Park. This is the public washing place uh, called Paletto. Yeah. Mm. Housewives gather here and wash together. They would sit like this and hit the clothes with a bat. Pang, pang and talk with other people, like uh, speak ill of their husband or uh, they, their, they talk about their children or their family and they enjoy their time with during washing laundry. This is the last uh, destination for today. This is Somun Market. Somun Market is the biggest traditional market in Daegu. Also, uh, one of the biggest traditional market in Korea. Daegu used to be the most crowded city in Gyeongsang province back in Joseon Dynasty. And it is the main path to go to Seoul, so there are many people and various kinds of products gathered in here in Daegu. So there formed lots of markets naturally. These days it seems the fame of the old days faded a little because there are lots of modern style shopping malls here and there. But Somu Market is still the busiest area with local people and tourists from all over the country. Recently, they opened Night Market and they have various kinds of programs and delicious food. You must visit and enjoy it. <laughs> In the night market, they have various kinds of programs and delicious food. You must visit here and enjoy it. You can enjoy Korean snacks here, such as tteokbokki, napjangmandu, kalguksu, hotdogu, and so on. And you must find kind of intestines of pigs with spicy sauce. It is very nice, you must try. It looks like a little bit weird, but it is delicious. You must try it and you must enjoy it, I bet it. And you can also enjoy various kinds of snacks all over the world, like takoyaki from Japan, and pad thai from Thailand, ice creams from Turkey, and something like that. Can you hear the nice song with guitar play? There are buskings every day, and they have various kinds of performance, such as percussion and other musical instrument play. Must be delicious. Then, can you hear the sound? Sizzle, sizzle. Yeah, it sounds. It sounds is amazing, and sounds make me hungry. And uh, if you imagine of uh, Daegu, 
you can imagine about intestine of pigs. Uh, it is very savory and must be delicious. You can try it. And this is pig intestine and this is garlic and this is to, uh, which is rice cake in English. We should try it. I want to buy some. This is how much? 6,500원이요? 6,500원이요? 네, 좀 주실래요? 네, 바로 드시게 드릴까요? 아니면 포장으로 해드릴까요? 아, I want a spicy one also. 감사합니다. Look at this! It smells very nice. It's hot and warm. Yeah, it smells very good. Wow, there are lots of delicious food here. Let me introduce each of them briefly before I eat it. Okay, this is kimbap. It's kind of roll. There are various kinds of vegetables in it and there is, I can see there is some special ingredient in it, which is fried pork. And this is fried pork with soy sauce. I think it has rice in it. And it must be delicious. And this is pad thai. Fried uh, noodle from Thailand and this is fried intestine or pig. Let me just try this one. Mm, this is chewy and outside of it, it's really crispy. It's really savory and a little bit salty. Anyway, it's really delicious. I should eat it with to, which is rice cake in English. It goes really well with uh, the intestine of pig. Let me just try another one. I think this is spicy one. Yeah, this is really spicy. It was also refreshing. And there's a proverb, ear cheer in Korean. It means hit is bit by hit. It's similar to an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Maybe you can forget about the hot weather because of burning stomach. It started cooling off because of the rain and the sound of hitting the roof is similar to the sound I heard when I bought this dish sizzle sizzle and I think this is quite unique experience I've never had and I will never forget <laughs>